Cristiano Ronaldo and Joao Cancelo were involved in an awkward altercation during a Portugal training session, as they begin preparations for the 2022 World Cup. The Manchester United star appeared to be playing peacemaker, when Manchester City fullback Cancelo looked frustrated and set to explode at their latest training session. The 37-year-old made his way over to Cancelo, in a bid to defuse the situation, by placing his hand behind the defender's head rather tightly. It didn't seem to work as Ronaldo perhaps would have liked, as the 28-year-old thrust his head forward a few times in anger, before eventually putting his arms around him. The pair then both went their own separate ways to return to training, with Ronaldo smiling, as he walked away from the awkward altercation. Ronaldo's bizarre encounter with Cancelo comes just after his and Bruno Fernandes's awkward exchange in the Portugal changing room. The United duo had a frosty encounter as they linked up with the national side, shortly after Ronaldo's bombshell interview, where he slammed the current state of the club. Despite a cold reception from Fernandes towards his teammate, Benfica and Portugal midfielder João Mario insisted that there is no rift between the two players. Speaking at Portugal's press conference on Tuesday, Mario said, I was in the locker room at that moment. I saw pictures. It was a joke between them because Bruno was one of the last to arrive, and Cristiano asked if he had come by boat. It was a joke between them, they play together. Mario claims that Fernandes's late arrival was what prompted a confused look on Ronaldo's face, as opposed to an awkwardness caused by the latter's tell-all interview. Both of these incidents follow Ronaldo's interview, where he revealed that he did not respect current United boss Eric Ten Hag, while also taking aim at the club's facilities and their place in the football packing order. He claimed they had fallen below the likes of Liverpool and Manchester City, and also expressed a belief that he had been betrayed by the club. Ronaldo also took aim at the role of United's owners and urged fans to continue their protest against the Glazers.